めだ。Hello everyone, Lily here. As I have finished the new Memory of Chaos, it's time to share my thoughts about this version. Is it good? Is it bad? With Floor 11 and 12 incoming, how do I wish they're gonna balance the difficulty? This version of MOC raises many debates within the community. Hoyoverse once again increases the minimum requirement to get three star as now players need to beat the floor with 20 cycles remaining. This, to some players, is seen as an effort of power creeping, forcing them into pulling the new big thing, especially after it was revealed that this version of MOC also introduces a new scaling for level 90 enemies. In short, they have 22% more HP and 8% less attack compared to the previous versions. This sting now has 100k more HP than before. The message is clear. It is less about sustaining and more about DPS race at the higher level. I'm speaking as someone who on paper is one of the most impacted players due to this change. I only play with 4-star characters since day 1, so in terms of power level my account is probably weaker than 99% of you guys. If this is only about DPS race, with the only solution available is pulling the stronger characters, then I'm opposing this new format. It is going to kill Honkai Star Rail as a strategy game. However, if they continue what they are doing in this version, then I support them 100%. I've expressed my love towards memory of Xianzhou so many times. Most of these floors are impossible if I try to beat them through sheer brute force. But Hoyoverse provides blessings on each floor that if we learn to utilize them, are tremendously helpful. I love it when the floor's blessing matters and weaker accounts have other solutions aside from getting stronger characters. It is like a puzzle to solve, which is what a turn-based RPG should be about. This approach, in my opinion, will be able to provide a balanced experience between the top 10% strongest accounts and the rest of us. This MOC version follows a similar principle. Without the help of the blessing, getting 3-star on floor 9 and 10 is nothing but a pipe dream. These guys are ridiculously tanky, their HP pool is beyond the strength of 4-star characters. Under normal circumstances, beating them within 10 cycles is not possible. However, this time Hoyoverse gives us a blessing that is probably the most neutral we've ever had, and when being used properly, is incredibly strong. The blessing says, after an ally uses skill or ultimate, add one hits per action to memory turbulence, up to 10 extra hits. The trick of this blessing is stacking as many hits as possible, and then focusing all those hits on one enemy. To do that, players need to get rid of the trash mobs, leaving only the boss or elite enemy before the blessing turn arrives. This is basically my strategy in floor 9 and 10 to get the 3 stars, even when my DPS is clearly lacking to kill the boss in time. You see how powerful the blessing is when used this way? By doing it, there is also a change of target. I don't need to overpower the boss or the elite enemies. I just need to overpower the trash mobs. Now the DPS requirement suddenly drops significantly. If they continue designing MOC like this, even with the release of floor 11 and 12, we will be more than fine. The top 10% players can continue whatever they are doing right now. Zero cycle, auto, or some shit against stronger enemies. But for the rest of us, incorporating the blessing effects into our strategy is the puzzle we need to solve. It's a win-win solution for both parties, without anybody being left behind. I'm not Hoyover's staff, so I don't know their plan for the future, but now it's up to their creativity to create other neutral, engaging blessings like this. I'd say, don't worry too much as they seem to know what they're doing. David Jang, the producer of Honkai Star Rail, is a big fan of Trail Series, a legendary turn-based RPG series. This guy should know what's good for this game, and it's been reflected in our experience so far. Hopefully, they don't mess it up. If they do, we'll do our part by voicing our criticism.